Hi, it's Stephen Caleb with Brownells, and today we've got some important information on torque specs. Yes, we do. So uh, torque, even though you know it's firearm specific, that's not all it is specific. It right. depends on what you're putting on that firearm. Yeah, uh, we're talking action screws today. Yep. And the torque spec on the action screws have really nothing to do with the rifle you're putting it on. It's all about the stock and what it's rated for. Yep. So, uh, for example, I'll uh, just use Savage because that's that's the one that kind of comes to my mind first. Mm -hmm. If you over torque a Savage, it'll lock up the action. But what is over torquing depends on what stock it's in. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. uh, and that's just that's just that example. So. On other guns, like Remington 700s and just other stuff like that, how was, um, if you over torque those action screws, you're, you're going to start damaging your stock. And if you damage your stock, there goes your accuracy. Right. Yeah. Some of the confusion comes with, you know, as many synthetic stocks we have these days, mm -hmm. especially uh, with metal pillars or bedding blocks in them. Yes. You can torque it the heck out of them. You know, around 60, 65 inch pounds. Yeah. But the old specs for like the wooden stocks, that's down like around 30, 35 inch pounds. Yeah, especially if you get into some of your cheaper synthetics. They will flex. They will flex quite a yeah. bit, so. Yeah, and a lot of those are in the middle, you mm -hmm. know, between wood and the aluminum bedded. Yeah, so for example, we have this, when we talk about aluminum bedded and synthetic stocks, you know, this one here is obviously synthetic, it's not wood. Right. But it has an aluminum bedding in it that you can see there. Right, so you have metal to metal to metal. Yeah, this Bottom is... Bottom metal, bedding block, and then action. This is almost as good as using a chassis as far as that's concerned. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying chassis are better. They each have their own purpose and stuff like that. But I'm, what I'm referring to is, is torque and how solid they hold that action. Um, this, is, this is an excellent choice. And this can take a lot of torque, especially if you compare it to wood uh, that we have in front of us here. Because as you can see... On the inside here, this one's not even bedded with any kind of bedding compound. This one's just straight wood. That's the way it came from the factory. Yep. So uh, you can actually, you, this one could probably use a, a good bedding with some acro glass. Sure. You know, sure. We, we all know how much I like acro glass. But you don't need to have, you know, the maximum number of inch pounds on a stock, especially a wood stock. I mean, all those guns work well for decades, you know, just oh, yeah. they came from the factory. Yep. So just don't over torque it. Over torquing is just uh, is even worse than under torquing. So yeah, and to find the torque spec, you have to go to either the manufacturer of the stock or the manufacturer of the gun if the stock came on the gun to yep. get the absolute spec. Yeah. So for example, this one here's a Hogue. Uh, you reach out to Hogue. They'll tell them what you know, what action you have, what yeah. stock you have. They'll be more than happy to let you know what that or give you those torque specs. Sure. And it'll be high because it's metal to metal on that one. But Hogue might offer the same stock without the bedding block in it, and then it would be a lighter torque spec. Yep, and then uh, this one right here is a Remington factory stock. Again, mm -hmm. you know, you can reach out to Remington or just really any gunsmith right. will know those specs right. or tell you a, a range to stay within. And as long as you stay within that range, you got nothing to worry about. And of course, you know, this one here, I don't know who makes this one, but it's just your, you know, more cheaper synthetic stock, so... Mm -hmm. If you don't know on something like this, you can just go to the torque specs of wood and be just fine. Yeah, because it, if it holds it in wood, it'll hold it in everything else. Yeah. So. And then cut way back down on that for your 1022 Ruger or something like that. You know. Yeah, you don't. You don't, need, you to, don't need a whole lot. There. You don't. You don't need much there. Yeah. So keep it. 22s don't need a lot, and you can actually flex those if that action isn't completely supported by the stock. You know, you can flex things. Yeah. So be easy on your rim fires. Yep. And really, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's all there is to it. I mean, right. it's 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 simple, but it's very important. If you have any thoughts on this, please let us know. This was uh, listener inspired, or uh, one of our viewers inspired, uh, because he watched an old video we had that specified a high torque spec, and he did not have the stock suited for that. So know your stock, and then you can find out your torque spec. There you have it. That's all for today. If you have any comments, leave them below. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.